Hey guys, George here from Pack Instinct. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Just up in the forest again, this time with this little girl, Maka. Maka is going to be with me for eight days. That's a camera. Don't jump at the camera, please. And I've literally just gone and picked her up from her house and brought her straight here to the forest before taking her to my place. The problem they have with Maka is she gets overexcited around people. That's what I'm going to be working with Maka on over the next eight days. Put her into the crate bring the rest of her stuff up and uh, let her settle in. That's a very important point that I think a lot of people miss when they take a dog that's not theirs and they're gonna be keeping a dog with them or they take a dog from the shelter or they take a dog for training. It's important to give the dog time to just decompress and just settle in. The most effective and safest way I've found of doing that is by crating the dog. Now the first day, I keep it very, very simple and we just do that and we just rotate that. A little bit of play involved, a little bit of training involved, food, first night, very important. So I want it to be quite tired by tonight. That's going to be happening in the crate, even though she doesn't stay in a crate anymore at her place. She is going to be at my place. Maka is two years old and I was working with Maka and her owners when she was between six months and a year old. We've actually got Maka on a prong collar for walking with her owners because um, her owners were struggling with walking her. She's a spaniel, she's a strong girl, and that tool has worked absolute wonders for her. So I will show you that, guys, later. Do you mean Maka, come? Maka, come? Sit. Break. Opportunity for me to touch up on this walking and around people and uh, the excitement around distractions and that kind of a thing. Maka cup. Break. Ah, it's a good girl. Break. Break. Hyper at the moment. Very amped up. On the move, on the go. Heart rate's going. Now, you can see up there where those bins are. That's the exit, pretty much where my car is, okay? So I want to use this little path here to actually calm her down. Bring her to my side. Let's go. Correct that a little bit. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Stop. Sit. Let her out here. You can see the behavior. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? What I do with the dog at this point varies from dog to dog depending on what I see. I'm gonna take her out. As you can see, she's still a little bit unsure being here. With Aussie barking, that's made her even a little bit more unsure. So I'm going to take her out just on the long line. Let's go. Okay. All right, guys. So as soon as we came outside, straight into flight, I thought that might happen. And right now, still in flight. So I'm going to call her to me, put the long line on, see what we can do. Maka, come. Maka, come. Maka. Good girl. And she's on the long line. Let's go. Leave it. Here we go. One. Yes, good girl. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Ready? Good catch. Good catch, girl. Good catch. Again? Yes. 
Yes. Out. Out. Yes. All right, guys. So I was actually able to play with her outside, which is fantastic. Take her out of that flight state that she was in and bring her into a bit of engagement and a bit of play with me. Fantastic. I can't ask for more. I wasn't expecting that. And it's just great. So now I'm doing the feeding. I've just fed my dog. And I've got Maka's food right here. That's her biscuits. I've added a little bit of tuna in there and a little bit of salmon oil. Uh, that's it, you guys. This salmon oil that I like to give my dogs a little bit of in their food. Okay. Okay. Good girl. Sit. I think she's interested. So I'm going to give it to her. Yes. Great stuff she's eating. Good girl. Is that nice? If you guys got any questions, anything that you want to ask me, go ahead in the comments and I will get back to your questions. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.